sing Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Who's that you got there? And Mr. G. I'm coming right there. I'm pretending like I'm chewing gum. Because you know why? It's letter G day. Yes, it is. It's letter G day. I have gum in my hair. That's just a warning. Never go to sleep with gum in your mouth. No, that's probably not a good idea. Is that what you did? Yeah. You see that gum? Yeah. It's like brain or something. It's really, <laughs> it kind of does look like a brain. <laughs> nah, it's just gum. Yeah, it's stuck to me like glue. Yeah. Gum. It's a lot of trouble. It is. Well, my name is Miss Singh. I'm super glad to hear you. How you doing, Mr. Rekka? I'm doing well. And yourself? Good. I'm doing all right. Good, I'm good, good. I'm doing very well. Happy to be here with the letter G. So how many letters have we done so far? A, B, C, D, E. Oh, can you, can you get off for a second? Okay. Thanks. F, G. We're on our seventh letter of the alphabet. This, this is crazy. It's crazy. How many letters are in the alphabet? Anybody know? 26. That's right. 26 letters in the alphabet. And we are only on number seven. We got a long way to go. Hello, everybody. And how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody. And how are you? How are you today? Hello, Bexley. And how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, Bexley. And how are you? How are you today? And good morning, Miss Bexley and Miss Tallulah and Miss Chisa and everybody who's out there. Let's do these ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Let's go right into it again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, F, S, T, U, V, uh oh. W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, kind of. Next time, won't you sing with me? It Fingers happens to all of us. Thing. I can't believe it. I just, that's, I don't know what happened. Can you put up one hand? Can you put up two hands? Can you put up your third hand? Wiggle your fingers, close them up. How many fingers? Zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! Again, again, ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! You know, we haven't done this. I don't think we've ever done this live. It's an addition song about a gentleman who likes to pound with hammers. Oh. Might you might know it. You might know it. Well, my name's Johnny, and I'm going to do a little building. I'm going to pound with how many hammers? One. Johnny pounds with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny pounds with one hammer, one hammer, one. But you know what? I think I need another hammer. Yes, I do. One hammer plus one hammer equals two. Johnny pounds with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Johnny pounds with two hammers, two hammers, two. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have this perfectly good foot right here. I might as well make work a little faster and a little better. I'm going to add a hammer right here. So now I have one, two, three. Johnny pounds with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Johnny pounds with three hammers, three hammers, three. Now this foot here wants to get into the action. Yeah, what about me? What about me? Put a hammer on that foot. Three hammers plus one hammer equals four. 
Johnny pounds with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Johnny pounds with four hammers, four hammers, four. Wait a minute. You know what my grandma always said? She said if you're going to do any work, you got to put that head into it. So put a hammer on your head. Ooh. Four hammers plus one hammer equals five. Ready? Johnny pounds with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny pounds with five hammers, five hammers, five. Then he falls asleep. Oh, oh, oh. sorry, 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 sorry about that. Give yourselves a hand. Very good, very good, my friends. You know what else starts with G? Gum. And since it's letter G day, let's do things out of order. Let's grab that bubble gum. Maybe it's grape. Grape starts with G. Whatever, here's a grape. Chew it up. Spit it in your hand. Roll it up. And we sing a little song and it goes like this. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my belly. <laughs> Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my mouth. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my toes. Right down here. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my hips. Feeling sassy and proud this Wednesday. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my eyebrows. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my elbows. Rock my baby on the treetop when the wind blows. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my shoulders. Right here, don't poke anybody in the eyeball with your elbow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my wrists. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, sticks to my bottom. Woo! Oh, gracious. Roll up your bubble gum. Goodness gracious! Goodness gracious, that's two G's. Put it in your mouth, chew it up, spin your hand, roll it up, and throw it up on the ceiling for next time. Mr. G, what's it time for now? It's time to dance! Or groove. Groove! Groove is in the heart. Groove. What? Oh, here it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, gosh, gosh! All right, friends, let's get ready. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Come on, wigglers, let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands.
I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. All right. Very good. My friend. Come to the bus. Don't be a song of bus. Go round and round. Round and round. Sweet, 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 Giant, 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 giant,
fantastic. That was, we have a story that Mr. G would like to present to you. Not really. You want me to read it? Yeah, you can read it. All right, cool. It's about garbage. Now, mm. how many of you have ever thought about well, garbage? I mean, you put it, you put it in the trash can. Hang on, let me show you. When, when you're done with something, you put the garbage in the trash can. Unless you recycle it. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of, it's going to take us through that. Yeah, oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So there's like different, there's different things that happen to the things that we throw away. Hmm. Mr. G's going to help us with where does the garbage go? Cool. Garbage truck. It's pretty neat. This one by Kathy Teresi, illustrated by Patty Silver. Hi, I'm Mr. G. And I used to goof around with my gooey gum. What a mess. Now I throw my gum in the garbage can where it belongs. Do you ever wonder where the garbage goes after you throw it away? Let's find out. Well, first, the garbage truck comes and picks up the garbage. Uh, crushers inside the truck flatten the garbage to make room for more. And claws grab the garbage can, and dump the garbage in the trunk. Truck. A video camera shows the driver what's happening behind the truck. Did you ever wonder, did you ever think about that? Like, how can the garbage guy know, or gal, know what's going on? They have video cameras. That help you. Uh, with two steering wheels, the driver can steer the truck along the curb. Because garbage trucks, if you know, they go on both sides of the street. The other way or the wrong way sometimes. The way that you don't drive on. Did you know that the average person throws away more than four pounds of garbage a day? Mm. A typical family throws away 100 pounds of garbage a week. A garbage truck picks up about 24,000 pounds of garbage a day. <whistles> sometimes the garbage gets burned in a huge oven called an incinerator. Burning garbage can make energy for electricity, but it can also make harmful smoke and ashes. So the garbage truck dumps the garbage into a conveyor belt, and then a shredder chops up the garbage into small pieces. And then a magnet separates metal from the rest of the garbage, and huge furnace burns the garbage. Steam from the furnace is used to make electricity. A spray cleaner washes away poisonous ash and smoke, and the ash is packed in barrels or buried. Sometimes the garbage gets dumped into a big pit called a landfill. Huge companies spread their garbage and flatten it out. A compactor weighs about as much as six elephants. Wow! The landfill is lined with clay or dirt and plastic. The liner helps to keep poisonous chemicals and germs from leaking into the ground and the water that we drink. At the end of the day, the garbage gets covered with dirt or plastic so it won't blow away. The covering keeps out rain and animals. When the landfill gets full, workers cover it with a thick layer of clay or soil and a sheet of plastic. Then comes more soil. Parks, parking lots, and even ski slopes can sometimes be built on top of old landfills. Did you know that the world's largest landfill in Staten Island, New York, has a mountain of garbage as high as a 20-story building? It can be seen from outer space. So this is kind of what happens. There's soil, <clears throat> plastic, clay, garbage, like layers like that. Every time a landfill closes, we have to make a new one. If we make too much garbage, we'll run out of places to put it. Then garbage will pile up everywhere. And we don't want that to happen. So what can we do? This is what Miss Rebecca was talking about. We can use the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The first R is reduce. That means make less trash. We can make less trash by buying things without extra packaging. Have you ever gotten a toy or something like that and all the stuff that it was packed in, all the stuff, it, 
it does seem very strange. They'll put super security and all this stuff around something, and then they put a light bulb like in a tissue paper. Like, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you ever thought about the packages batteries come in? Batteries come in really hard to open packages, but a light bulb <laughs> is like surrounded by a piece of paper. And light bulbs, are, I don't understand. That's it so at true. All. It's so weird. The second R is reuse. That means use the same thing again or in a different way. Plant flowers in old yogurt containers. Make an indoor garden. So instead of throwing away your container of yogurt, rinse it out, plant a, plant a flower in it. Turn a plastic gallon jug into a piggy bank. We should have a craft shop and make this. Turn old socks into great puppets. And wrap gifts in the Sunday comics. The third R is recycle. That means make something new from something old. It's easy. You just separate the glass, metal, paper, and plastic from your garbage and put each one in a separate container. In some places, a recycling truck picks up the containers and brings them to a recycling plant. In other places, you have to bring them to the recycling plant yourself. When Miss Jill and I went to Sedona this year, Sedona is one of those cities that takes their recycling very seriously. And so we had to take all of our garbage to the recycling place. And there we had to separate it from cardboard, cardboard that was used, like had food and stuff on it, glass, all kinds of things. It took a little time, but it was really neat and we felt like we were really making a difference. Can you figure out which container holds each of these things? Okay, so the newspaper would go on this stack right here. The cardboard, I think that'd probably be paper. These cans, like cola can, they're made out of like, dude, I don't know. Aluminum or metal? Aluminum or metal. Well, I guess aluminum is metal. Here's plastic. So this, the plastic would go here. You can see it took me a long time in Sedona. But Miss Jill, she's a good recycler. Did you know that it takes less energy to make 20 recycled soda cans than it takes to make one can brand new? One recycled can saves enough energy to run a television for three hours. In a recycling plant, the magnet separates aluminum from other metal. So aluminum is a metal, that's science, but it's, it, it gets separated from others. And then machines rinse the cans, crush them, and shred them into pieces. And a huge oven melts the aluminum pieces, and the melted aluminum is shaped into long sheets, and the sheets are squeezed by rollers flattened and rolled up, and rolls of aluminum are cut and sealed into a new soda can! So maybe check a soda can, although she, he is using a straw. And if you caught the asparagus tip this morning, your tummy might feel a little bloated, Mr. G, especially from chewing gum, too. Mm -hmm. At the recycling plant, the old soda can gets made into a new one. Soda cans aren't the only things you can recycle. Old glass can make new bottles and jars, windows, bathtubs, or long threads used to send signals for telephones, televisions, and computers. Plastic bottles can be ground up to fill winter jackets and sleeping bags. Recycled plastic could also be made into strong boards that are strong enough to build bridges. Paper can be recycled into newspaper, writing paper, tissues, cardboard, egg cartons, fruit trays, and even kitty litter. Mm. Did you know that people first discovered glass long ago when lightning struck a beach? The lightning melted the sand, and when it cooled, glass formed. Did you know that some kinds of plastic, like styrofoam, can't be recycled. If you throw away a styrofoam cup today, it'll still be sitting in a landfill 500 years from now. Wow. Paper is often made from trees. Recycling one ton of paper saves 17 trees. Doesn't it seem like styrofoam's not just such a good idea, maybe? No. I mean, not, but I guess people work in the styrofoam industry, but yeah. if, maybe that could be converted to like the cardboard industry? I don't know, dude. Styrofoam. I don't like the way things taste when you drink them out of styrofoam. 
Are peanuts styrofoam? Like packing peanuts? Now they're made out of different things. Because, like, I know when I worked at Bethel Park, there were styrofoam peanuts and people were eating them. And I was like, dude, you can't eat styrofoam. And they were like, no, they're not styrofoam peanuts. They're just edible packing peanuts. Uh, <laughs> uh, we do not stop. support eating any no, sort of packing peanut. No, do not I... eat any packing peanuts. Don't eat anything unless your super special grown-up gives it to you. That was pretty weird. Weird times down south. Oh, sorry, sorry. But I did love it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Now you know where the garbage goes. And you also know what we can do to help save our planet from too much garbage. What will you do to reduce, reuse, and recycle? Mm. So you can think about that today. You can think about it. Yeah. My friends... We have come to the time in our time together in which we participate in the animal alphabet. The alligator chomp, the alligator chomp. Alligator starts with A, the alligator chomp, chomp. The bear crawl, the bear crawl. Bear, it starts with B, the bear crawl. Crab walk on your butt or lift it up. The crab walk. The crab walk, crab it starts with C, the crab walk. Ready to quack like a duck? The duck quack, the duck quack. Duck it starts with D, the duck quack. The elephant sway, the elephant sway. Elephant starts with E, the elephant sway. The fish swim. The fish swim, fish it starts with F, the fish swim. And we'll do this one twice because it's our new one. The giraffe stretch, stretch your neck. Giraffe stretch, giraffe it starts with G, giraffe stretch. Giraffe stretch, giraffe stretch, giraffe it starts with G, giraffe stretch. Give yourselves a hand, my friends. My friends, today we have art at 12.15. It will be indoors. <laughs> and also today we have a special art installation. So it's going to be pretty exciting. 12.15 art. Don't forget, tomorrow, Magic 8 Ball and Dance Party. Friday, the premiere of the Sporty Sports Show. Turn to who's ever in the room with you or maybe in another room. Tell them this song. Toe, knee, chest, nut, no, I love you. Toe, knee, chest, nut, no, I love you. Kiss your beautiful brain. Kiss your love and heart. And look in that mirror, my friends, and say, hey, good looking. So we'll all be looking just the way you are. See you next time.